skipped all the, uh, this program. So our speaker is Professor uh, Kumano-san from the KTK. And uh, Kumano-san got a degree in uh, MIT. And then he uh, went to the the Oak Ridge lab laboratory and uh, also in the Indiana and also in the mines. Then he returned to Japan uh, to, to be the faculty member in Osaka University. Then he moved to the KEK and now also is a member of the State Park. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so that's welcome. And today we'll talk about the panel distribution and the fragmentation functions. Actually, if you check the Professor Kumano San's uh, website, you can find uh, there's some code that you, you, you can use that. So uh, it's very nice. So let's welcome our speaker today. to come back here in uh, let's say two years. This uh, is my third time to visit Taipei and the uh, academic cynical. So uh, I'd like to thank the organizers for the invitation for this uh, uh, summer school and also the uh, seminar last uh, week. So I am supposed to discuss uh, pattern distribution functions and also fragmentation functions. Uh, the introductory talk was given by uh, Pete Muller, so I may skip uh, some uh, slide uh, for the introduction. But in any case, this is the outline of my talk. Uh, I introduce uh, deep elastic scattering uh, rather intuitive way rather than the, the formal way Pete Muller gave the talk. And then I discuss uh, pattern distribution functions and uh, nuclear modifications. Uh, because of the limited time, I will not discuss the details of these uh, distributions. Uh, I hope to give an uh, <coughs> overview of the current status. Then I discuss uh, fragmentation functions and the current uh, state, uh, especially the current uh, status. The first part is the pattern distribution functions. So these are viewed as uh, PDFs. And uh, the, the ultimate <coughs> purpose of the theoretical nuclear and hadron physics is to understand the equation matter and the property of their uh, interactions. Uh, as the universe cools down, uh, the hadrons are formed then in nuclear and uh, other forms. Uh, in addition to understand this uh, phase space uh, region, uh, if we look at also the momentum transfer, it uh, should be an interesting physics. For example, this is a famous uh, Jefferson laboratory result together with other uh, electron uh, facility. Uh, the abscissa is the uh, central mass energy and the only is a cook section scaled as uh, S27. S is a non-distant variable. And uh, at low energy, we typically observe uh, resonance like star jam. But on the other hand, at uh, large energies, we have so-called uh, constant counting group predicted by part of the QCD. So if we look at uh, nuclei, as uh, like this one, at low energy we can describe a nucleus in terms of hadron degrees of freedom, uh, nucleons and barium and so on. But ha however, at the high energies or high momentum transfer, uh, we have to understand in terms of the gluon degrees of freedom. So uh, these are the topics we would like to investigate uh, all, all the uh, purpose of investigating pattern distribution function is, of course, to understand the partality and the non-partality of QCD and to determine fundamental constant. However, there are uh, important practical purposes. 
uh, for example, in, in understanding the Kofun plasma signature in high energy reactions, uh, we need uh, precise initial uh, conditions. Uh, and uh, I just show you one example for uh, uh, if we would like to understand, uh, find any exotic signature beyond the, the current uh, theoretical framework, we should also uh, need to understand. So in at high energy reactions, uh, pattern distribution functions are the essential uh, part for this kind of cross-section very precise. Uh, for example, this is a typical uh, figure taken at uh, the, by the bubble chamber at a certain long time ago. The incident uh, uh, neutrino uh, interact with uh, nucleon in this uh, bubble chamber, and it produces a lot of uh, hadrons, as you can see. And uh, the neutrino is then uh, becomes a new one and it goes away. So this is a typical uh, deep elastic process uh, you can see by the picture. So typically we do not observe these hadrons and so-called inclusive reactions. But in this case, semi-inclusive uh, reactions are very important. And uh, so that fragmentation function should be also discussed in detail. And uh, so I may skip some slide, but uh, I just define the kinematical variables, although they are already introduced by Nicholas. There are two important uh, variables uh, we use. And the first is the uh, Q square, U is the uh, four moments and transfer uh, for the uh, photon. And, uh, and uh, since this is the negative quantity, we usually uh, use uh, capital Q square for describing structure. In my notation, it is the, the Q square is uh, Q uh, zero component scale minus vector uh, component. Uh, if you read old books, uh, this uh, sign is uh, popular, so you should be careful. And uh, another very important variable is uh, the open scaling uh, variable, Q square divided by Q P dot uh, Q. So these are uh, two variables. And uh, uh, in my talk, uh, we, I occasionally use uh, like cone variables, so uh, they are defined by this uh, uh, relation. So uh, the convenient choice for the photon uh, momentum, for example, if it's taken like this one, then Q plus is given by the mass of the nucleon, the open scale of X, divided by square root of two. On the other hand, Q minus is rather a large quantity in the defense process. So P dot Q, we often uh, denote P plus Q minus. So these are the variables. So so I just skip this part. Uh, but uh, the cross section is described by the uh, by the this matrix element, the lepton uh, uh, vertex part and the hadron part. And uh, the leptonic part, lepton tensor, L mu nu, is uh, calculated by using these uh, rules for the Dirac schemes. Uh, on the other hand, the hadronic tensor uh, we may uh, express by the uh, commutation relation between the uh, two uh, kinds. And uh, we can uh, express this uh, atom tensor that we knew by uh, expanding it by the uh, possible Lorentz uh, vectors like uh, G mu nu, P mu. Here, in the electron scattering, the structure function W3 is missing. But of course, it exists. However, as you know, the lepton tensor is symmetric under the exchange of uh, indices uh, mu and nu. So uh, even though there is an anti-symmetric uh, term, uh, it does not contribute to the cross-section. So uh, by using the current conservation, these four structure functions 
we can uh, prove uh, W1 and W2. In all days, we experimental data are shown by uh, this structure. But in this case, we, instead of W1 and W2, we use F1 and F2. And uh, in the uh, resonance region, these are the actual uh, data. Uh, the ordinate is the uh, cross section with the electron energy of uh, about 5 GeV. The scattering angle is 10 degree. Uh, here the abscissa is the uh, uh, scattered electron uh, energy in uh, GeV. And on the other hand, the invariant mass is Increase on the left hand side, toward the left hand side. So we have elastic scattering and uh, typical resonances. Uh, in this talk, uh, I discuss a deep elastic process, which is take, typically taken as a W square larger than 4 GB square. So from this region, it's a deep elastic uh, process. So this is another experimental data. Uh, this is invariant mass uh, W, and uh, as you go up, the energy increases, the electron, initial electron energy from 4, 7, 10, and so on. The Q scale is also uh, increasing, 0 0.06 to 1.8%. Uh, at the uh, small Q scale, uh, these uh, delta and other uh, n star resonance uh, peaks are dominant uh, in the cross section. But however, as uh, Q scan increases, uh, these resonances uh, decrease uh, drastically uh, due to the uh, bomb factor, which is typically uh, given by the dipole, uh, this kind of bomb. So these resonances uh, become smaller in comparison with this region. And this is called the DIS deep elastic uh, region, uh, which is described by the pattern. So this is another way of showing the similar uh, data. The ordinate is F2 as a function of uh, European scaling variable X. At small Q scale of uh, 1 GB square, we have these uh, resonance uh, structures. So if we increase the uh, Q scale to 100 GB square, uh, these are not uh, seen and uh, it becomes a uh, continuous uh, curve. So the physics meaning of the Q scale uh, maybe you interpret, interpret as follows. So in, uh, of course we can look at the laboratory frame, but uh, for understanding the meaning of Q scale, the appropriate frame will be the so-called right frame. We may take uh, the, uh, this uh, bottom uh, momentum as like this one without the uh, first uh, zero uh, component. So in a sense that right frame is defined as frame in which exchange boson is complete space right. So struck uh, bottom, okay, the core, goes back with the same uh, momentum in this frame. So if we calculate uh, the uh, reduced wave frames, which may consider it as a spatial resolution, then in this frame it is the uh, uh, square root of uh, Q square. But if we take other frames, you know, of course, it will be different. But in any case, the Q square is uh, uh, considered as a spatial resolution uh, uh, in this uh, direction. So uh, this is the Bjorken uh, scaling phenomenon. Uh, These are the F2 structure function. So all this is not denoted as uh, mu times uh, energy transfer times W2. Uh, these are the data at uh, x around 0 0.25 as a function of uh, Q square. And uh, even though we increase Q square, uh, two structure functions stay the same. It is so-called Bjorken uh, scaling. Uh, 
I mentioned in the previous stage that Q square is a spatial resolution. So even if we increase the uh, spatial resolution, the physics result uh, did not change. So it means the, uh, the only possibility is that uh, to assume the existence of small particle, which is now called pattern. Actually, it is a floor, or could be a blue one. And uh, so within this uh, uh, special resolution range, namely the size less than one over square root for Q square, uh, there should be a point like a part, and it was named a part. And uh, there is another important variable, scaling variable X. Uh, in order to understand this uh, uh, variable, uh, let's take the uh, frame uh, in which the uh, proton is moving uh, with large momentum in this direction. Then uh, constituent uh, in this proton should also uh, move almost around this uh, same direction. Then in this frame, we may take the, at this part, matrix, we may uh, take the momentum conservation. And then if we take the square, then two k of q uh, should be equal to q square. If this momentum k is just uh, the uh, parent crop momentum, multiplied by some factor c, then if we substitute this uh, expression to here, we obtain c is equal to q scale over 2 kilo q. We define this uh, quantity as a Hilton scaling variable x. So c is equal to x. So x means the momentum fraction carried by the uh, strike uh, pattern. So for example, 0 0.5 means that the struck pattern carries about 50% uh, of the 15% uh, momentum of the uh, proton. So if we take very simple uh, picture, for example, proton consists of three poles, and uh, then and if they carry equal momentum, the momentum distribution of this uh, particle uh, should be located on one side as a variable x. Uh, however, we know these uh, curves or patterns uh, 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 bind system to form a proton. So it means that uh, there should be uh, uh, momentum exchange through the uh, here it's a blue. So even though its peak will be around 0 0.3 or so, uh, this, there is a, a spread <coughs> of this uh, uh, moment of distribution due to uh, this kind of uh, interaction. And in addition, uh, gluon may be emitted and uh, split into the Q cuba pair, and the virtual photon may flow uh, uh, anti or so-called C-code. So this kind of uh, distribution is called uh, C-code. On the other hand, the uh, this uh, uh, curve may be considered variance. In pattern distribution function, we define the variance curve uh, defined by the uh, Q minus Q bar to cancel out this kind of splitting uh, process. So if we use this uh, uh, definition, the C curve distribution is equal to the anti curve distribution. Then if we look at the actual data, uh, these are uh, this uh, part should be interpreted as a variance curve, and this, this small x part should come from the C curve or anti curve distribution. So this may be too elementary for you. Uh, another important uh, point for the pattern uh, physics is that uh, we use uh, incoherent so-called incoherent uh, or impulse uh, approximation. Uh, here, we may uh, calculate the photon uh, 
interaction time by the uncertainty principle. Uh, for this uh, purpose, we may take uh, uh, a center of moment and frame of the electron and the proton. Uh, take this kind of schematic. And then if we calculate uh, the that, uh, Torrent's invariant quantity like this one in both frame, uh, we can calculate Q0. And uh, it is roughly given by the uh, momentum P here over uh, Q squared. But on the other hand, uh, we may also estimate uh, the time of this uh, virtual uh, state uh, by this uh, energy uh, difference by using the uncertainty principle. So we take the uh, nucleon energy and also these uh, intermediate state uh, energies. Then, then we found out that it is P, it's the same or the same factor here. But instead of Q square and nu, there is a, a, a nucleon mass square. So uh, if we compare these two times, tau, small tau, it's much smaller than uh, this large uh, P. So it means that uh, uh, during this uh, short time, a uh, photon interacts with a single uh, free pattern, which does not interact with uh, neighboring uh, pattern. So this uh, is the reason why we use incoherent inverse approximation. So in principle, the matrix element should be added, uh, then take the outside by square. But however, uh, in the pattern, physics, we simply take the, the, the absolute value of each part of the set. And uh, so by using this uh, idea of uh, uh, incoherent infrastructure approximation, we can repeat uh, the same calculation for the uh, cross-section. So by using this matrix element, uh, one can repeat the same procedure. And then uh, the electron probe cross-section is uh, written like this one. And we take the, each uh, probe uh, as a, a moment of C and distributed by the function L. And it, is, it becomes the probe and the anti-probe uh, distribution. We, we convert this cross-section with this uh, moment of distribution. Then we have already defined this uh, W like by the two structure functions, F1 and F2. So F1 and F2 by the pattern model are given by the group and anti group distribution multiplied by charge is squared. So this is the pattern uh, model expression for the structure. And this one, I think, uh, it moves us uh, slightly discussed, so maybe too much detail, so I skip. So if you want to uh, express by the F2 structure function, F2 structure function is given by the uh, extracting probe at some, uh, at uh, the origin, and the free part uh, to the another uh, uh, dichrome allocation. So, but if you want to derive this expression, you may look at some of the uh, differences here. So it may be too much to discuss. For the scaling violation, I do not derive any formula, but I just explain how it, uh, what it means. The scaling violation means the Q scale dependence of the, uh, the structure function. I mentioned that uh, the structure functions are almost independent of Q square. Let's see, right here. In the old slack experiment, at the x around 0.25, from 1 to uh, 8 GeV, should be GeV square. Any case, uh, uh, the structure function is uh, like a constant. But if we measure the structure function in the wide kinematical range, uh, 
uh, it is not uh, uh, story. Of course, the QSK dependence is very small. In a sense, this is a logarithmic QSK scale. So this slope is uh, doubly proportional to log QSK. So if we look at uh, 0.25, and uh, of course it is the old slack data was taken in this way. So in fact it is a constant. However, if we go to very small X region, 10 to the minus 4, or even, uh, I think it's around 0 0.75, 0 0.65, large X region, uh, uh, it depends on the Q scale. Well, of course the uh, sand gluon is still point like part two. But QCD is of course a quantum system. So even though there exists a point like flow, it uh, produces two-cuba pair and also gluon surrounding uh, this uh, flow. So it means that uh, if we increase uh, Q square, it starts to flow this uh, uh, cloud region of two-cuba and uh, gluon. So uh, this uh, scaling violation is an important property. Scaling itself <coughs> was, of course, very important. But uh, the scaling violation is also very important for uh, confounding, uh, especially the part of the part of uh, QCD. And uh, the standard uh, uh, equation to describe this uh, scaling violation is so-called Dicker evolution. But uh, over time, before the beginning of 1990s, it was called the Aletari Parisi equations for if you read all the books, uh, it is uh, written by Aletari Parisi. But in these days, we call it the uh, evolution uh, equation. And uh, in order to derive this, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, this uh, equation, one had to calculate the gluon uh, radiation process. So uh, if you look at uh, the original paper of Aletari Parisi, the derivation is uh, well uh, written, so you can look at it. Uh, by the way, this uh, paper is the, one of the most uh, uh, cited paper. Uh, I believe it's uh, almost 5,000 uh, citations now. So uh, the, the QSK dependence of the Coke distribution is given by the, uh, this kind of integral uh, differential equation uh, by including this kind of gluon uh, split. But in general, uh, of course, crop distribution could come from the gluon distribution by other process. Or the gluon distribution could also change. So uh, it becomes a couple of uh, integral differential equations. The, uh, in using the partality with QCD or pattern picture, uh, Q scale should be uh, large enough. One may look at uh, the running coupling constant uh, as a function of Q square. Let me quickly just like cite this one. Uh, uh, it depends on uh, whom one uh, use this partality with QCD picture. Someone use uh, Q square and 4G square or larger in this region. I personally use uh, about uh, 1G square. But of course, one of our Q square collection could be, could become important in this region. So, in principle, we discussed this uh, part of the QCD reading. So uh, for, if you want to find part on distribution function, the best site uh, you may visit is Dara uh, University website. They have complete information on the PDF <coughs> and also the experimental uh, data. Of course, there are other collaboration and also ours. And uh, 